Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the tall cactus, the original, the one that started it all. This little guy is what got me into making all three of these, and even though he's my least favorite, it's got a special place in my heart, because without him, the others wouldn't exist. And with that, let's get started. You will need felt pieces in any color you would like. I like to use shades of green and green blues. Sewing floss or thread to match your color that you choose. Floss or thread in the color that you would like to use for needles. Personally, I like to use a light yellow because it adds just a little bit more color to the cactus. Sewing scissors, sewing needles, glue, which is optional, stuffing, a small flower pot, which I found in my craft store in the fake flower arrangement section. This one measures two and a half inches tall and wide. The pattern, which you can find in the description below. Toothpicks for support. Floral foam, which you can find in your craft store or dollar store in the fake flower section. And for the dirt, you'll need brown felt and floss in the pattern, which you can find again below. First, you'll need to cut out your pieces using the pattern in the description. And once again, I'll be using Movie Magic to cut my pieces out. Wow! Once your pieces are cut out, it's time to sew on the needles. Use whatever color you've chose for the needles and start sewing them on however you like. There's no right or wrong way. As usual, I like to stagger mine. I also like to put clusters of needles here and there, but then also putting just a single needle in an area and just keeping it completely random. It looks nice that way. Once all of your pieces have needles sewn on, we are going to sew them together. Put two pieces together, wrong sides touching, and make sure their sides are lined up nice. Start at the top and just do a basic stitch all the way down. I like to have an exposed stitch, that way it kind of gives the cactus a little bit of a texture. But honestly, you can do whatever stitch you want. Sew all the way to the end, and you'll have something a little like this. Grab your third and final piece and sew it together the exact same way. And the final side. With all three pieces sewn together, you will have something like this. Next, use your brown felt to cut out the three dirt pieces. You can find the pattern in the description below. Cut them out. Next, we're going to stuff the cactus. Grab a little bit of stuffing at a time and put it in. Keep shaping as you stuff and only do a little bit at a time so that it doesn't become lumpy. It's very easy to make this guy lumpy because he's so straight. With your cactus stuffed, it's time to cut a hole into the big circle of dirt. This way your cactus can squeeze right in. Be sure to cut a little bit at a time so you don't cut it too big. Fit your cactus often to see if it's at the right size yet. Once you have a snug but not too tight of a fit, sew the dirt piece right onto the cactus base. Like so. Haha. <laughs> so. Puns. Next, we're going to go ahead and sew up our dirt side piece. Line up the two straight and short edges and sew them up. Once you're finished, turn it right side out with the seam on the inside. Put that little guy aside because it's time to get messy. Take your floral foam, a cutting tool, I like to use a butter knife, and your flower pot for a guideline. With your flower pot on top of the floral foam, go ahead and cut a piece to size. Press your flower pot into the floral foam to make an indention as a guideline and on the other side, do the same with the smaller side. Then start cutting away. Be sure to cut small amounts at a time and often fit it to your flower pot. Once you go too small, you can't make it any bigger. Just keep shaving away slowly and fitting often. Mine's a little wonky, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Once I've got my mold, I like to cut a little circle out inside so that my cactus has a little bit of room to go into it. Go ahead and put the side dirt pieces around the mold. This part can be a little messy, so I like to do it over a trash can. Once your felt piece is around the mold, we're going to sew the small circular piece on the bottom.
Next, I like to use three toothpicks for support. They're not completely necessary, but I've found that your cactus is a lot more stable when the toothpicks are in there. Just stick them onto the foam and your cactus goes right over them. Stuff your cactus into the little crevice we made in the mold. If the fit is too tight, feel free to remove some of the stuffing. You don't want it too bulgy. And then sew the pieces together. And you have your cactus. It's time to finish. Take your flower pot and your cactus and put them together. Oh golly, look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this third and final sewing cactus tutorial. If you haven't seen the other two, go ahead and click these thumbnails. You should check them out, they're pretty cute. Tell me in the comments below, which of the three cacti are your favorite? Mine is the prickly pear, he is so cute. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.